Hello, my friends. Welcome to Anna's Violets. I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. In this video, I'm going to tell you about these very annoying flies that appear most probably at the end of the autumn in winter. And I'm going to tell you five methods how you can get rid of them easily. You may easily confuse them with fruit flies. However, fruit flies are much bigger and they are brownish, while these annoying flies that you will notice around your plants are much smaller and they are black. And also you will notice that fruit flies are maybe in your kitchen where you will have maybe some leftovers on the counter or something, you know, fruits that are already not so fresh. However, they will not be attracted to your plants and the flies that are around your plants will not be attracted to food in your kitchen. So this basically the location, first of all, can help you already identify if it's a fruit fly or if it's fungus nuts. This is what they are called. And let's discuss if they're harmful or not. Well, first of all, fungus nuts, these black annoying um, flies, if they are already adults, they are not really har harmful for us in the sense that the, the insects do not really eat the leaves, do not really feed on the leaves or flowers of your plants. However, the adults lay eggs, hundreds of eggs, larvae in the soil, in the top layer of the soil of your plants. And this is why they are uh, also harmful because adult um, flies are not really harmful at this stage, but they leave larvae in the soil, which is basically feeding on the roots, new growth, everything that is basically very fresh and thin and soft. So this is, of course, a harmful insect for our plants. So you will notice these flies more towards uh, autumn and winter because the temperatures uh, go down and also when we water our plants, the soil is still moist for a couple of days. So it gets drier um, in a longer period of time than, for example, it would happen in the summer or spring. And this is the perfect environment for these flies to basically appear and lay eggs. And it can also come with a new fresh soil basically it's not always about moisture or watering of your plants but these flies can come with um, the soil the new fresh soil that you have bought which actually happened to me as well and this is actually what happened to me I decided to repot some plants in the end of autumn and with the new fresh soil where I planted my monstera albo I have this infestation I would say and we talk about infestation when we have uh, a lot of flies flying around the, the rooms. They're very annoying. They're flying into our faces. And this is when we can call that it's an infestation because if it's just one or two, it's not an infestation yet because they will lay eggs, larvae very fast and then you will have hundreds of them. So how to get rid of them? In this video, I'm going to give you five methods of how you can get rid of fungus nuts. And one of them, the first one maybe, which is the easier method, is of course to lay one layer, maybe one or two centimeters uh, of sand or it can be um, some stones, basically anything that will cover the surface of your soil because fungus nuts lay the, their eggs, their larvae on the very top layer of the soil. If they don't have access to the soil, they cannot lay eggs. And then finally, the adults will also die after a couple of days or weeks and you will not have the next generation popping up. And the second method is, of course, to use sticky traps, which is kind of a very nice way to get rid of them. Of course, it will not be nicer later when you will see all these flies uh, stuck on these uh, traps. However, it's very easy to use them and they are completely safe. So basically, you have this kind of stickies and then you stick them into the soil, removing the layer. Let me show you. So this is, let's say, one of them. You remove from both sides these layers and then you stick this flower trap in the center of your pot. And then the flies sitting on this trap will be basically stuck on this and will not be flying around anymore. And this way you will break the cycle of laying the eggs, hatching, becoming an adult, laying eggs again. So basically trapping the adults, you can already solve the problem because you will not have the generations uh, coming up. All right. And of course, I will put the link uh, in the on the screen and also in the description in case you would like to buy it. This one I bought from Germany, but I will also uh, li leave the links uh, for this product. If you would like to buy it from the US, the links will be there. 
The third, what you can do is to use different products that will help you to get rid of the insects. And this can be, for example, this Careo, which is, unfortunately, I've seen it only on the German market on Amazon. I will still leave the link uh, in the description in case you would like to test it. This is basically a fertilizer and also a pesticide. Basically, you stick the sticks in the soil and dissolving every time that you water uh, your plants, they will be dissolving and giving fertilizer for your plants, but also uh, becoming a poison in the leaves. Basically, when the plant will take the water, this will go inside the stems, inside the leaves, and this will make the uh, plant tissue poisonous for different types of insects. And this is basically for uh, scales, for thrips, um, for white flies and so many more insects. This is very helpful and uh, you can use it basically once in two months. And this is very helpful if you have also thrips. This is actually the only thing that helped me to uh, get rid of my thrips a year ago. You have maybe seen the video um, in my previous videos in, on my channel. Also, what you can very uh, easily buy from the US is mosquito bites. It's the same. You can either scatter them on the surface of their soil or uh, dissolve them in water and make tea kind of from it uh, and then water uh, your plants. This will be a bit slower process, but I have heard that it's also very uh, useful. I haven't tried it myself, but I found so many people who um, basically say that it's the only thing that helped them uh, from the US, so I will put the links also in the description. And also, of course, nematodes, which you can again buy, and again, the link will be just all uh, basically to help you to get rid of the problem and test what will work for you. But you can also use these nematodes, which again, you dissolve in water and you water your plants. So this will help uh, with this issue. The fourth method is to use uh, basically hydrogen peroxide, 3%, which you dissolve with water one uh, on one ratio. And again, you water your plants. This will also help with fungus nuts, but also uh, maybe from mo for mold and all other issues that you can have encounter in the winter because of the decrease of our temperature. And the fifth method is to use neem oil, 3% neem oil. Again, you dissolve it with water and you water your plants. However, I must say it has two minuses and I don't really like using neem oil. Of course, I've used it, I've tried it when I had uh, thrips and it helped a little bit. However, what I didn't like is that number one, it stinks. So I could do it only in the warmer uh, weather. So I would do it outside and then bring my plants inside because it stinks a lot. And then besides that, when I spray the plants or when I water the plants, the soil basically, uh, especially when I spray them, the leaves would be oily, which is okay, but also the pots will be oily and then it, it kind of creates a lot of work to then clean the pots so that they're not oily and they're not dirty kind of. So I didn't really like it, but if it's available in your area, if you would like to try because it's very natural and it's, it can be also very cheap. So you can try this method and see which one will work for you. And if you have another way of fighting with fungus nuts, please leave your comments, leave your experience uh, in the comments under this video. Of course, if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer. Don't forget to subscribe and join our group on Facebook and share the video with your friends if you think they're also having the same problem. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay passionate about plants.